What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. So, I want to talk about the Tyrese, Cryrese, colorism issue, complaint, whatnot. That recently happened. All right, so Cryrese was on some social media app, um, platform. And he had a video, and he posted a video, or either was live streaming, whatever. And he said something to the effect of, like, you know, we know who the bros bros are, <laughs> right? And also, but also saying, oh, you know, black people come in, you know, all shades, right? So it's kind of like a, it's like a weird thing here, all right? Let me explain this better, all right? Because I feel like I'm all over the place, all right? So Tyrese was talking about the industry, right? The acting industry, right? The movie industry. And talking about parts, you know, how certain people get certain parts and all that good stuff, right? And then he kind of mentioned something that seemed to pertain to colorism, although he doesn't mention colorism, but it probably would fall under colorism. And he said something to the effect of, like, you know, blackness comes in all skin tones. Right? He says that. Then he goes in to say, you know, but they will put, you know, really light, 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 light skin folks in certain roles when it comes to acting. You know, and he says, like, we know who the bros, bros are or is are he may have said is <laughs> but we know who the bros bros are so basically with that comment he's saying like we know who basically we know who the black black men are right you know the identifiably unambiguous black men right and like we do yes we do know but i do have to call bullshit and just point out the hypocrisy because again you notice he put in that you know we come in all different skin tones right just in case someone wants to call him out or on his black queen quote unquote which you know I actually when that happened I did make a video defending Tyrese because I assumed that his quote unquote black queen identified as black which she does not <laughs> so in that video, I was the, un, under the assumption that she identified as a black woman, which she does not. Um, still, I'm sure folks will find any in every way to call her a black queen, right? Because, you know, anybody can be a black woman. <laughs> anybody. <laughs> but, <clears throat> and also that does reflect, you know, how, you know, black men are just so willing. The, the bros bros, right? These uh, unambiguous a uh, brown skin, dark skin, black men are just so willing to give up the black female identity without much of a fight at all. I don't see that happening with other groups of men as as much, you know. Uh, th that's something to note and to be aware of too. Just you know, not even a fight. <laughs> it's just go ahead, you know. Just anybody can be a black woman, right? But when it comes to his identity as again I mentioned in the previous video well not the previous video but the video that I did about um, you know um, all skin tones and all shades can be a black woman but not a black man right and some of you probably have found out about me because of that video right um, but yeah, again, but this is an example of that, right? Like in the same exact conversation, he's kind of doing this, right? He's opening the door for non-black women, low key, but trying to close the door for non-black men, right? Because again, these dudes are not going to be opening the door and rolling out the welcome mat for their competition. But black women, you are expected to roll out the welcome mat and open the door for your competition. 
specifically the brown skin, dark skin, black women, you're expected to do that. And if you're not going to do it, be prepared to be shamed, be prepared to be put on a guilt trip, be prepared to be called all types of names, be prepared for the backlash, right? But this goes to show you that these dudes, these yeah. folks, these brown skin, dark skin brothers, bros, bros, they know what's up. They know what's up, right? <clears throat> but again, brown skin and dark skin black women will accept it. They'll go along with it. They they ain't going nowhere. All right. And also, you know, they do want to like live vicariously do through these women. Some of them do, you know. But another story for another day. So Cryrese Tyrese is on uh, social media crying about, I guess, parts or something. Maybe he feels like, oh, he ain't getting the parts that he should be getting. Maybe he's feeling salty that The Rock got a spinoff and he didn't. This, that, and the third, right? You know, and the um, you know, The Rock is in the spinoff, but they also put Idris Elba in that spinoff too. At least like the first one, um, you know. So there's somebody, you know, maybe he felt like. He should have had The Rock's part, or maybe he felt like he should have. I don't think he felt like he should have had Idris Elba's part. I think he wanted The Rock's part. <laughs> um, you know, and again, um, you know, really, I feel like black women have more of a reason to complain about this than black men. You know, the unambiguous monoracial folk, right? Um, because really, like The Rock and Ben Diesel. I don't think they're really taking like nigga roles though. You know, you feel me? They ain't really taking nigga parts though. For the most part, I know like The Rock is doing that John Henry movie. You know, but The Rock has done like plenty of roles that were not for black men. The thing is when it comes to the women, they tend to take on the black tend to want to fill the space of black women. You notice that they can't really tend, they don't tend to fill the space of a white woman as much. You know, oddly enough, like the Rock and Vin Diesel kind of can fill the space of white men sometimes. They can kind of get away with that a little bit. You know, um, you know, for, I think they're like low key, they kind of have part out, card out carved out sort of a lane for themselves and a very lucrative lane you know because the rock and vin diesel are like the two are one of the two highest paid actors in hollywood you know they ain't on the nigga roll shit they ain't do that with the nigga roll shit they did that with the kb shit you know And watch a whole bunch of black women want to come out and coddle Tyrese and woo, woo, woo. It's going to be okay, baby. <laughs> right? They're going to play, you know, a Mammy, Captain Mammy, <laughs> Super Mammy to the rescue. Right? But then when some black woman is complaining about the same thing, well, how, watch the response. <laughs> watch the response. We all black. We all come in different shades. You know, don't hate on the biracial light skinned women. They can't help it. <laughs> right. And black men and black women are going to be saying that. They going both of them are going to be singing that tune, right? Again, I don't know what's up with some of these folks out here. Uh, but for me personally, I'm not here for Tyrese's colorism complaints. I just, I ain't got time for it. <laughs> I got a lot of colorism complaints that are way more important to deal with than this one, right? And also, it's just like, you know, low-key, Tyrese is kind of done the same thing, you know? He kind of gave the part of his wife to a light, 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 light skin, racially ambiguous woman. But you mad when someone gives the part of a what you feel is that unambiguous bros bros to someone who is not an unambiguous bros bros, right? 
you know. And also, let's be let's be real. Let's compare The Rock and Tyrese when it comes to fan base which leads to sellability. Who do you think probably has the more the bigger fan base first of all? And who do you think probably has more of the sellability? Could that have to do with skin tone? Perhaps, maybe, you know. Let these dark skinned brown skinned niggas tell it. Um colorism isn't really a thing. It's just an ugly dark skinned brown skinned woman's argument. So could we just say that maybe this colorism complaint is just an ugly, unappealing, unmarketable, brown skin, dark skin man's argument? You know? Again, that's something to think about, right? So Tyrese, Pusha T, Wale, and possibly Killer Mike can all just fall in a ditch. <laughs> like just go fall in a ditch somewhere. All right. Because again, these folks, again, really just complain about shit, but. They participate in it too, though. You know, they complain about shit that they participate in. All right, it just don't make no sense. All right, you know, and also Tyrese has kind of low key says some kind of shady stuff directed at black women who are like really his biggest supporters. If you took away black women from his fan base, his fan base would take a big hit. Because I don't really see a lot of non-black women supporting Tyrese like that. I'm sure there's a few. I'm sure he has a few, but not like when it comes to the black women, though. Who do you think are really supporting Tyrese? All right. I don't see a whole bunch of racially ambiguous chicks, you know, supporting Tyrese like that. And they know that. They know that. That's why they kind of make sure they kind of pay lip service, right, to the brown skin, dark skin sisters. They give them just enough to keep them hanging on, right? Just enough, right? And it's very strategic. It's very calculated. Very orchestrated how they do. Don't get it twisted. I'm going to bring this video to a close. Thanks for watching. Feel free to comment and let me know what you think about this situation. Until the next video, adios and goodbye for now.